Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day this morning. Um, I had I want to come on here and I want to talk to you for just a bit and tell you about a dream that I've had. I had it last night. Um, to me, this is m more of a it's a cross between a a, a rapture dream and uh, a confirmation dream at the same time and and, that, and the reason I say a confirmation um, but the reason I say a confirmation is it's not because uh, a confirmation of the rapture it's a confirmation to me of uh, the past day or so I've been um, researching some things and um, I've been finding out some things that I believe is what's to come that I'm going to share with you in another video um, but I, I believe it's a confirmation dream to the fact of that the Lord is telling me that I'm on the right track because I, I kind of had some doubts yesterday. Um, but now I, I do feel confident that this was a, not only a uh, get ready, I'm getting ready to call you home dream, but it was also a confirmation of the research about what's getting ready to come upon not only America, but the whole world. Well, let me tell you the dream that I had. I dreamed that I was at home, basically. And when I mean at home, I mean I was in the United States and um, I was um, with a class, a class that I knew, and I mean a class of people, like I was in, it wasn't really like high school, but it was like people that I knew. That's what it felt more like. I was with these people that I knew and we were uh, walking along this pier or this dock out by the ocean or the sea. And you know, I was ahead of the class. I was, uh, I, was, uh, I was in front of everybody, way out in front of everybody. As a matter of fact, everybody else was behind me. Because in the dream, I look back and I see in the dream, a friend of mine um, that I haven't seen in a long time. His name's David. And um, it's like we go, th we walk out along this dock and we go through this little shack area that's on the dock and then out to like a balcony overlooking the ocean behind it. We just go through the, the shack and out into the balcony. And as I, I walk out onto the balcony, I'm the first one there. And people start to fill in behind me. And as they fill in behind me, we're all looking out at the ocean. And as I look out at the ocean, I see this huge, black, monstrous, just enormous, dark cloud that's covering not only half the sky, but it's covering, uh, it, it's, it looks like it's touching the ground. It looks like uh, it's a swirling whirlwind. And as I look at it, I notice, I, I look around and I notice that other people doesn't seem to see it. They don't seem to see it. It's like they're they're looking straight at it, but they're looking through it. It's like, they're blinded by by this thing coming as though they're looking at it but they but they don't see it and as i'm looking at this cloud um i happen to i i, I look down at the base of this cloud because i want to know what direction this cloud is going in to see if i can uh, see it coming towards or or not and as i look towards the base of this cloud the swirling dark menacing cloud it's kind of kind of like as if 
the zoom focus was zoomed in because the whole base of the cloud just it's like it's zoomed in towards me so I can get a better picture and get a better look and I see that this dark cloud is slowly coming towards where we are and as I see this cloud coming towards where we are you know I feel as if if, if we don't get out of here destruction is coming you know it's going to kill everybody on the balcony it's going to take us out and I turn towards um, the shack and I run through the shack to escape and I get about halfway down the pier and I turn around as if to to warn everybody uh, about this but as I turn around to warn everybody about this and I and see where the cloud is at the cloud is consuming the balcony with the people on it and I stand there and then the dream ends and I feel very very mixed about this dream I feel very um, worried not worried as in what's going to what's what's coming upon us but worried as in the people I feel that not only is this a uh, a confirmation dream of the Lord is telling me that I'm on the right track of this research but I also feel that this is um, I feel that this is kind of a rapture dream as as the Lord allowing me to escape um, you know the verse in the Bible where Jesus says that uh, you know um, count yourselves worthy or prove that you're worthy or, or so that you may or, or no no or so you, uh, you may count uh, I, I forget I, I'm sorry my mind is reeling right now with this dream it's the verse that, that um, so that you may count yourself worthy to escape all these things. And um, I've prayed to God this morning to ask me or to ask for more confirmation. Um, I feel in my spirit, I feel in my heart that what I dreamt of last night is confirmation that he's telling me I'm on the right track because the information that I found out yesterday that I kind of discovered well God kind of he, he, he pointed it all of these things out uh, from previous bits of and pieces of information um, that I've been listening to, of course, everybody does on YouTube, but I've been listening to um, of what's to come up on America, of what's to come up on the world. I pray. that this is just another dream. I pray that what's to come up on the world doesn't happen. But I feel in my heart and I feel in my spirit that the Lord wants me to get this out. He wants me to tell you whether you believe me or not. That's up to you. 
you pray for discernment on this as I'm doing if you don't know Jesus Christ right now I beg you and I implore you to accept him as your savior because he's the only one that is going to save you from this wrath that's coming. Accept him today before it's too late. Accept him as your Lord and Savior, your life. He sacrificed and gave his life on Calvary so that you would accept him as Lord and Savior of your life and his blood would wash you clean. He loves you more than anything and he wants to be with you. So please accept him today before it's too late. I'm gonna, uh, in the next day or two, I'm gonna get everything together and, and kind of formulate this somewhat to put in some type of video so that I can get this out. Um, I hope everyone has a blessed day. God be with you. I love each and every one of you. I give praise, I give honor, and I give glory to the living God for who he is and for what he has done to me and what he has done for me. I am a new creation because of him. I love each and every one of you. Peace out.